Hey everyone, it's Elena and uh, today we're interviewing our first digital artist uh, for Supermoon Camp. Uh, it's Oriel and you definitely need to learn about uh, his background because he's so inspiring and so outstanding. You definitely never heard it before. So let's go and check out his gallery. <laughs> gallery today and uh, I did see like so many works and uh, I just like, I do think like there's so much message behind it would be so interesting to know like what is uh, your background how did you get uh, to all of this uh, thank you so much for the platform uh, so part of what influences a lot of my work is my background in philosophy psychology and theology uh, so I study these three areas uh, theory or learning or practices uh, during my 20s. So in college I studied psychology with a background in philosophy and children's studies. I then ended up uh, going to grad school at Princeton uh, to study theology. Then I went to Columbia to study philosophy of education. So what I do is, but I've always had a love for art. So when I started painting during like my PhD uh, uh, course, towards the latter uh, part of my 20s, I sort of began to see art in a more mature way, if you will, and just saw that life is not really about forcing anyone to take any worldview, but to just present it, and sometimes art might be the best uh, medium to just relate messages without trying to force people to um, be where you're at. Many of my artwork just stems from childhood memories, sometimes a song that I'm listening, just like philosophy. Uh, I consider myself like Descartes, just writing down his meditations. So I'm just laying down my meditations, but using this different form of writing, this different, uh, this more primitive way of expressing. So Dead President is a movie. It's a very tragic movie, but for me, because I'm a philosopher, uh, been a teacher, I always try to find like, the philosophy, like how did they end up at this point? What are the contextual, sort of historical, socioeconomic dynamics, right, that led them to this point? Or to embark on this behavior? Uh, or this form of getting away from poverty? But here you have this juxtapositioning. If you notice, I juxtapose a lot. It's my favorite lit uh, sort of literary technique where you kind of take things that are opposite and you put them next to each other to look at what's similar but also what's different. And so when you do that, you know, it comes with temptation. So I'm also speaking to the game um, that art, once you're an artist, money, once you have money or once you're after money, all the, all the vices, or, you know, like m money really shows like the character of someone. So that's why I don't focus on money as despite notoriety or accomplishments, I try to be accessible to people because you don't ever want certain status or your ego to change you. So he's really about his time and his money. And he took a different option. He took his art as opposed to robbing a bank. You know what I mean? So it's a greater message for the new generation. You know? And it's dope. This is a dope interpretation of life, right? It's yeah. like chase the American dream, but don't fall to the vices of life. Whether that be money or women or drugs or whatever. I think art should have a bit of a mystery to it. Exactly. Uh, so sometimes I'll write on pieces and then other times I'll leave it alone. Like they're super busy. I can do, this is my favorite style. Uh, and it's a style that I sort of discovered before I discovered Basquiat. Um, because it's a New York type of style, and I was writing as, as a child. Uh, but then I just gave up art, but it's so philosophical. And so I was doing it, and then when I discovered Basquiat, it just gave me the inspiration and the encouragement to see my work or my aesthetic as art. Like, I love fine art. I love Da Vinci. I love Goya. I love uh, Pablo Picasso. You know, so many different artists. 
but it all comes through Oriel, the guy who was born in Panama, moved to Brooklyn, went through crazy experiences as a teenager. Hey, you feel me? Uh, made it out, went to graduate school, and discovered that, hey, rather than just being a teacher, writing all day to this esoteric world, I'm just gonna make art and just live my life also, like not be so serious, trying to change things. And that's the purpose behind my work.